Hey, what's up, guys? Take another stab at this. Kind of show you some a uh, couple moves from my collection. Uh, talk about kind of the war genre. And, uh, anyway, yeah, leave me some feedback. Let me know what you think. Rate my video. Anyway, I'm going to start out with a two disc double pack that I got from Walmart. Seven bucks, whatever. So it's not your, you know, as Boss Metal would put it, teabag your sister in the closet version. Um, Sniper, one and two, starring Tom Berenger. I'm going to start off by saying Tom Berenger is the man in fucking war movies. I love him. He's the shit. He's like, he's a badass. You know, he's very believable in that part. I did catch a older Stallone movie the other day that I hadn't seen since it came out and it flopped. It was I See You. I don't know if you guys remember that movie. I couldn't really remember much about it. I remembered it didn't do too well and stuff, but I couldn't remember much about it. So I red boxed it. It was a dollar to, to rent it, you know, and watched it and remembered why it flopped. But anyway, Tom Berenger's in it and he's the kooky freaking janitor which just didn't really fit him you know I always see Tom Berenger as kind of a badass so or at least think of him that way so eh whatever you do stuff to make money right you do films to make money right anyway Sniper One had stars Tom Berenger and Billy Zane anyway uh, Tom Berenger is the you know seasoned sniper and uh, gets set up by the Pentagon with uh, Billy Zane, who's this major, you know, badass marksman or whatever, but doesn't know anything about anything when it comes to, the, you know, the military or, or being in the bush or whatever. But anyway, they go in, t take out a Colombian drug lord. They do. Billy Zane goes crazy. Ends up, Berenger gets caught. Colonel Beck, or uh, Sergeant Beckett gets caught and uh, so Billy Zane has to go rescue him anyway in the process Berenger loses his finger which is you know his, his trigger finger and everything like that but uh, you know good movie overall there's good action um, they do a lot I, there's a, a lot of video shots that are like through the scope type thing you know and I, I kind of like that stuff, you know. It, some of it's somewhat cheesy, but I don't know. It's, it's it's cool for me, you know. I like I like that. I give that movie a lot of respect. Um, Billy Zane, Mr. Titanic, you know, did a good job in the fact that you know his character was supposed to be some stuck-up, you know, guy that doesn't. Knows he doesn't know anything, but he's gonna. He's got too much pride to admit that and, and stuff, and so he's in way over his head and, and, and all that kind of stuff. So he, he did a good job. I don't know of anybody that could really play that role much better, but I don't know. I I don't see him as you know. I, he's not like one of my favorite actors by any means. So, but anyway, I'll move on to Sniper Two. Now, uh, this one takes place where. Uh, Tom Berenger is, or you know, Sergeant Beckett's retired, mostly because of his, you know, his missing finger and stuff. You know, not real great on the trigger anymore. But anyway, they come in, they you know, tell him about this uh, uh, rogue general that needs to be taken out, and trying to come to power. Whatever. I mean, you know, the, the typical, you know, storyline for that kind of thing. But anyway, he gets set up with. Um, Brokeem Woodbine, I probably mispronounced that. I, fuck it, I don't care, you know. Um, but this guy, he, this guy was also in um, The Rock with uh, Sean Connery. He played a small part in uh, uh, Ed Harris's Little Army. But anyway, um, he does a pretty good job, you know. But he's like. Uh, supposedly a death row inmate and on a suicide mission type thing, you know. Um, he plays uh, Bickett's spotter and everything. But, lo and behold, Berenger finds out that this 
mission they were on was a setup and it was for a bigger mission. Blah blah blah, you know. So they got to get out of there, and Beringer's fighting for his life at that point because he's apparently expendable. Anyway, um, good movie overall. I don't think it. I don't know if it ever made the theaters. It came out two thousand two. Um, so I'm gonna say it's probably fairly low budget. I don't know for sure. I didn't do a whole lot of research on it on the internet and stuff, but I know it wasn't very big. But it was, it was good for what it was. Um, again, Tom Berenger in there being, you know, badass and stuff, and being the, you know, the hard-ass military guy that, you know, he can play. And, you know, all those all those aspects are there. Um, but again, you know, 2002, Tom Berenger's probably, you know, I mean, he hasn't done much since that I know of, that I can think of off the top of my head. I mean, maybe a few parts here and there, but nothing that he starred in that I know of. Um, anyway, overall, pretty good movie. Last but not least, I'd like to talk about, and this is, this is still on VHS, mind you, I have not, I'm horrible, I have not picked up the DVD of, of this, and I need to, but, uh, Platoon. Best Picture, yes, 1986, yes, yes, William Defoe getting capped. By Tom Berenger. Right there. Right there. Oh, wait, no. That wasn't Tom Berenger right there. That was, uh, yeah. That was all the Viet Cong shooting him at that point. But anyway. My bad. My bad. My bad. Fuck that one up. Fuck that one up. Anyway. Um, but yeah, this stars, this has so many big name actors in it, or, or bigger name actors. I mean, this the cast in this movie was fucking outstanding. They did an amazing job like this. Directed by Ron, um, wow, almost misspoke there again. Oliver Stone uh, directed this. Um, apparently was in it. I was just looking online about it and apparently was in it, but it's uncredited. I, I don't, know. don't know what he looks like, so whatever. Anyway, Tom Berenger, William Defoe, Charlie Sheen, Forrest Whitaker, John C. McGinley, excuse me, I can't talk, wow, McGinley, he, who is on Scrubs now, which is fucking hilarious, anyway, Johnny Depp, which I'm not a Johnny Depp fan, but he's very young and has a small part, so, eh, mention him, why not, anyway, there's too many to, there's too many really to, li to list, I'd spend the rest of my video just naming actors that are in it, but it's like crazy, it's, I mean, 86, this is a big deal. I mean, in my opinion, it still is. It's it portrayed, you know, Vietnam, you know, very well. You know, my dad uh, spent time in Vietnam. He was in the Navy, but you know, he said he said that was uh, very well done. You know, I mean, it's Hollywood eyes, but it's pretty accurate for being Hollywood eyes. You know, I mean, pretty dramatic and stuff. You know. But it really showed, you know, like, camp life and how these guys interacted and stuff like that. And, you know, and the action scenes are fucking awesome. The struggle for power between William Defoe and Tom Berenger is fucking awesome. You know, camp's divided between the two of those guys following them. You got your party animals smoking weed over in fucking Defoe's camp. They're just, you know, smoking fucking weed through a shotgun because it's... Fucking cool, man. You know, whatever. Then you got Behringer's crew that's all sitting there playing poker and shit. But anyway, good, just overall fucking good flick. I think I'm, I think I'm running out of time here, guys. But anyway, um, I'll cut it short. I think I'm going to go ahead and do a video just on Platoon. Um, yeah, look for that. Peace.